suburban <laughs> housewives. Usually the women, that's not what they're about. You know I recommend that all men refrain from using straws. It's unbecoming. Hey everyone, it's David, producer for The Benjamin Dixon Show, and like it or not. So if you've missed it, not to worry, we're here to make sure that you're in the loop on the fresh, groundbreaking news coverage from Fox News in the year 2023. What does that involve, you might ask? Well, misogyny, sexism, and how manly a president is. And taking the lead on this, apparently, is Tucker Carlson's replacement at Fox, Jesse Waters. And he's taking the responsibility with all enthusiasm, apparently. Jesse started the evening on Wednesday by making sure to tell women where their place is and where their place is not. And then you have <laughs> suburban housewives, all right? And suburban house husbands. Usually the women don't control which car to buy. Sometimes See, it's a collaboration. Really. That's not Sometimes true. Sometimes it's wrong. a collaboration. No, that's that's not true. Wrong. no, 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 no. The women wrong. always wrong. just know that. Time Time the women choose Let the cars. Go. You're yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, okay fine. Right. Maybe. Anyway. Let's just say the women that I know, at least, aren't tech people. They're not like, ooh, let's get an electric vehicle. No, that's not what they're about. So the men in the suburbs, a lot of them drive pickup trucks. If they don't drive a truck, they're conservative and they're not buying an electric car. So now you're just having this market here. This is liberal suburban house husbands. Those are the only people in the market for an electric car. That's not a big market. So according to Jesse, women aren't in control of which car to buy because... It's not what they're about. Shut up. Well, Jesse, the women that you know, what are they about? Please let us in on what the women that you know are about. You know, you've had your mother call into your primetime show. I'm sure other women would love to hear what you think they're about. But the other thing in this clip was this little nugget. So the men in the suburbs, a lot of them drive pickup trucks. If they don't drive a truck, they're conservative and they're not buying an electric car. Men in suburbia drive pickup trucks. A lot of them, he said. And those that aren't driving pickup trucks are all conservative. I mean, I know that right-wing media loves to paint America's big cities as Marxist and laughably. And while they tend to be democratic strongholds, I know plenty of people in suburbia who would like a word about being labeled as conservatives. But this is what you get when you watch, you get fed nonsense like this. And depending on your demographics, it's exactly what you want to hear. And it just um, confirms your bias and keeps you in the echo chamber. But Jesse wasn't done yet. Because later on his primetime show that replaced Tucker Carlson's show, he had some thoughts about Joe Biden's drinking behavior. And no, we're not talking about alcohol. Joe Biden's Thanksgiving trip to Nantucket. He polar plunged at a little Black Friday shopping with Hunter and he called one of our correspondents stupid. And we're willing to look past that little outburst, but some things we just can't let slide. Joe Biden used a straw. Now, if you've seen me on the five or on prime time, you know I recommend that all men refrain from using straws. It's unbecoming. The way a man's lips purse, the size of the straw is just too dainty, the way your fingers clasp on it. No, come on. Straws are for women and little kids. Straws are for women and little kids. You can't make this stuff up. You really can't. And this is on prime time. This is being aired when Fox expects the most viewers. Superb substance here. Anyway, the internet weighed in as it does and questioned Jesse's judgment with pictures like this and this, and these. You know, because Trump is supposed to be an alpha male. He's who they idolize. And yet, I don't know, pursed lips, drinking from a straw, handling glasses dainty-like. And let's not forget the time that Jesse went to McDonald's and had a straw in his soda. This is all really stupid and nonsense, obviously. But I mean, just the fact that this is what Fox is airing at its busiest time. Anyway, Usually I ask people to uh, let us know what they think in the comments. I'm curious, let us know in the comments who decides big ticket purchases, who decides on the type of vehicle, if any, that your household has. And women, cis and trans, if you're not about cars, what are you about? I think Jesse would like to know. And on that note, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we'll be back.